I am Pastor Jahima, um, coming at you from New Life in the City Ministry, the place where God is transforming lives with the Word of God under the direct leadership of Pastor Isaac Smith. I'm so, so very happy to have you with me this morning. This is the Monday morning devotion where we have focused prayers. And I'm so blessed that you would come and join and be with us as we pray together. I think it's so important that God hears from all of us. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Um, I'm going to ask that you would share this on your page. And we want to get the prayers out as much as possible. Prayer is a good thing. We're talking and conversing with God. Amen. And that's why it's important that we all begin to pray and speak and those things that we want to see happen in our land, in our families, and within ourselves. You know, there are some things that we want to see changed. I know you have some things that you want to see changed. And what we do first as believers is pray. Amen. We're going to pray. So yes, go ahead and share this on your page. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Amen. The focus prayer for today and this week um, is going to be healing. Healing. Now we know the very first time we did heal our land. Heal our land. But this is a personal healing. What do you believe in God for within yourself? Even if you believe in healing for someone that you know, a family member or a friend, someone that may be in the hospital battling COVID-19 and you want to believe God for healing, this is the things that we want to pray for. If you are sick and you're going through, we're going to pray and believe God for your healing as well. Amen. So whatever it may be, we're going to ask God for healing. And the Bible has said that he sent his word to heal. Amen. Let's send the word of God. Because we know in that it has healing agent to heal, to set free. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. The scripture that we're going to be coming from this morning is Isaiah 53, 5. It says, but he was wounded. He, we're talking about Jesus. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Amen. With Jesus' stripes, we're healed and we have access to his healing. He went through the pain and the suffering for you and I. Amen. So that we don't have to. So we're going to believe God for some things this morning in pertain to healing. And we're going to stand together in the gap for each other for the manifestation of it to come forth in us and our families in this world. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. You know how we do it. I'm going to say a scripted prayer. And then right after that, I want us to begin to pray together. So I want you to invite your family, whomever is in the house with you this morning, and, and we're going to pray together. Amen. Wherever you're comfortable, however you're comfortable, if you're on your knees, if you want to walk around, that's one that I really love where I can just walk around through the house and pray. But because I'm before you, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to sit right here and we're going to pray. So wherever you're comfortable, we want you to pray and talk to your God. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Healing. Healing. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, you are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals and you have the final word in our destiny. The number of years that we live and serve you on earth, you have the final word. Father, we ask that you touch us with that same power that you raised Jesus from the dead. 
that same resurrection power that can raise us up from any sickness and diseases that plagues us. Lord, begin your healing from the inside out. Mend what is broken. Root out any unproductive cells. Open any blocked arteries or veins and, and rebuild any damaged areas in our body due to COVID-19. Remove all inflammation and cleanse any infection. Let the warmth of your healing love pass through our bodies to make new and any unhealthy areas so that our body will function the way that you created it to function. We absolutely believe you have the power to heal. You demonstrated that on earth and you still heal in miraculous ways today. Even when our faith is weak, you say when it is enough. And we know you already hold our heart and life in your hand. It's up to you. If we can bring you more glory through healing, then that's what we ask for. That's what we desire. Jesus, in you, all healing is performed. Lord, you are the miracle worker. In your spirit, your gift of healing is alive. You are able to touch, heal, and deliver us from any manner of diseases, sicknesses and diseases you're able to heal us oh lord god from any lord god disease in our mind diseases in our heart you are able god you lord are our medicine your scripture says that you heal all diseases and whoever believes in you will not perish but have an everlasting life thank you jesus strengthen us lord in this time of illness sickness heartache heal us lord sustain us strengthen us oh god from worrying oh lord god in our minds and in our heart lord god sustain us oh lord god Strengthen us, Lord God, and heal all kinds of sicknesses. Father God, we pray for those, oh Lord God, family members, friends, oh Lord God, that may be going through, Lord God, any manner of sicknesses and diseases. Lord God, we pray, Lord God, and we send your word, God. We send your word that you heal. In the name of Jesus, you heal those who ha had all types of diseases. You died and rose for our sins and that we may have eternal life. We believe in our heart that you are here with us today and that with your most holy power, we'll remove all sicknesses, discomfort, diseases from all of us. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Now we're going to all pray together. Father, we thank you, Lord God, because we know, Lord God, that you are God that do all things but fail. So, oh, Lord God, we know that you hear the cry of your people. 
So as we lift up our voices, oh Lord God, to you, even unto your ears, we know that you hear every cry, every plea, every request, every prayer. And oh Lord God, right now, Father, we are praying for healing, God, in our bodies, healing in our minds, healing in our hearts, God, healing, Father, in our souls, healing, God, healing, oh Lord, not just for us, but we pray, oh Lord God, likewise for our family and our friends, God. Father, that you would touch, heal, and deliver. Meet us at the point of our knees. Oh, Lord God, whatever we're going through, Lord God, if it's not like you, we ask that you take it away, Lord God. Father God, there are some that are, Lord God, battling with COVID. Lord God, just as you touched and healed me, Lord God, over two months ago, Father, when I was in my bed, and oh Lord God, the prayers that came forth, oh Lord, that pressed, Lord God, a breath of life in my body when I could not breathe. Lord God, I pray today, Lord God, those that are having problems breathing, my God, Father God, that the breath of life will, Lord God, push through their lungs, oh Lord God, that they may have a comfort in breathing this morning in the name of Jesus. For we recognize that COVID is not a God. Father, you get the final word. You get the final say, God. And oh Lord God, you are in control. So Father God, we say, Lord, have your way. We give you full authority, God. Touch, heal, and deliver your people. Touch, heal, and deliver them right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, we come against, oh, Lord God. Oh, Father God, any manner, Lord, of diseases. Father, those that may be, oh, Lord God, suffering with a terminal disease. Lord God, we know, Lord God, that you are able, Lord God. Father God, in the scripture, it says that you were wounded for our transgression, that you was bruised, oh Lord God, for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was upon you, and with your stripes, God, I'm believing for healing, whoever that may be, Lord God, I'm believing, Lord God, for healing, and oh Lord God, that they will begin, Father, to feel and to sense and to know that healing is taking place right now in their bodies in the name of Jesus. Have your way, God. Have your way. Have your way, God. Touch, heal, and deliver as only you can, Lord God. Oh, Father God, you are the master healer and you are our medicine, God. So we say, Lord God, oh, Father God, have your way in our bodies. Lord God, that child that may be sick and going through, Father, we declare healing. Healing, God. Oh, Lord God, there is, oh, Lord God, a mother, Lord God, that is hurting. Her heart is hurting, oh, Lord God. Lord, we pray for your healing to, Lord God, to comfort that hurting heart. Lord God, no matter what has happened, Lord, we know that you are in control. Someone going through, Lord God, someone may have scarred you, Lord, with words, and someone may have scarred you, someone have scarred you, Lord God, oh my God, whoever that person is, Father, in the name of Jesus, heal their heart, in the name of Jesus, heal their heart, God, heal their heart, God, Lord God, they may feel hurt. But, oh, Lord God, you specializing in comforting us, oh, Lord God, that we will feel, Lord God, better, even better than before. Heal the heart of your people, God. Heal the heart of your people, Lord. There are so many, Lord God, that is hurting, oh, Lord, that are going through, Lord God, even hurts that we put upon each other, Lord God. But we say, heal our hearts, Father. Cause us to stand, Father. You said when we've done all to stand, to continue to stand. Lord, I pray, Lord God, for standing power amongst your people, Lord God. Sustain us, oh Lord God. 
We pray for standing power. Sustain us and strengthen us, oh Lord God, from the power that's on high. Lord God, have your way. Have your way. You send your word. So we send your word. We send your word, Father. We send your word from the north, the south, the east, and the west. We send your word, Father. Because in it has cleansing agent. It has power in your word. Oh, Father God, wonder-working power. So, Father, we say, Lord God, have your way. Father, for we stand on your promises. We stand on your word. If you said it, God, it shall go forth, God. Father God, you are our hope. We are not without hope, God. You are our hope. So, Lord God, we say, Father, mend the broken heart. Heal, Lord God, the hurting heart. Comfort, Lord God, the heart, Lord God, that feels, Lord God, that, Lord, I want to give up. Lord God, you heal their heart, Father. Oh, Lord God, you have power that is able to do the impossible. You have power to do the impossible within us. Lord God, open up our hearts that we are willing to receive what you already have for us, God. Open up our hearts, Lord God, that, Lord God, we won't look to the left or nor the right, but, oh, Lord God, that we will look to you in all things, Lord God, as our healer, that we will look to you, Lord God, as our sustainer, that we will look to you as our provider, that we will look to you, God, as the one that is able to keep us, to save our souls, and to set us free, God. Oh, Father God, sickness cannot stand in your presence, so we invoke your presence, God, in this hour, Lord God, Wherever healing is needed, we invoke your presence. We send your word, God. Have your way. Have your way. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We say hallelujah is the highest praise. So, Father God, I pray, oh Lord God, as we lift up the name of Jesus and the power therein, Father, Whoever is under the sound of my voice that are sick, that are hurting, that are going through, I ask that you just scream a hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to you most holy God, hallelujah, powerful God, hallelujah to the saving God, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, Hallelujah, because you're able. Hallelujah, Lord God. We're believing you, Lord God, for your healing power, your breath of healing, God. Lord God, across the land, heal your people, God. So we say hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. You are king of kings. You are Lord of lords. You are all that we need, God. You are the Alpha and Omega. Lord God, you are our medicine, God. So we say hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. We say hallelujah. We say hallelujah. We say hallelujah. We say hallelujah. Father, we bless you, Lord. Father, we lift you up, God. Our Jehovah Rapha. Oh, Father God, we are not without hope. But, oh, Lord God, we know that we can call upon you in time of, Lord God, sickness, oh, Lord, and discomfort and diseases, Lord God, and diseases we call upon you, God. Not only for us, Lord God, but for our sisters and brothers that are going through. Lord God, we're not selfish with our prayers. We stand in the gap, Lord God, for those, oh, Lord God, that may not even have a breath, Lord God, to pray this morning. I stand in the gap for them, oh Lord God. And I say, Lord God, touch, heal, and deliver them in the name of Jesus. In 
the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. And at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that you are Lord God Almighty. Every tongue will confess that you are the great healer. Every tongue will confess, Lord God, that you're able, that you're able to keep us. Every tongue will confess that all power is in your hand, God. Is in your hand, God. Is in your hand, God. So we stand. We stand on your promises. We stand on your word, God. We stand, Lord God. Oh, Father God, when others feel hopeless, we stand in the gap for them. When others, oh Lord God, are fighting, oh Lord God, sickness and diseases, we're standing in the gap for them, Lord God, for their complete healing. We stand in the gap for those that are hurting, their hearts are hurting, Lord God, for malicious words, for hurtful words that have gone forth and scarred them. Lord, we pray for healing. Heal their hearts and comfort them right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Right now, I come against any after effects of COVID. I come against, oh Lord God, any lasting effects of COVID right now in the name of Jesus. You may have gotten the negative, but you're still feeling, oh Lord, coughing and you may feel lungs, oh Lord God, that may feel sore. I come against that in the name of Jesus. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Whom the Father, our Father, heals is completely healed. So we come against, oh Lord God, any lasting effects, oh Lord God, of any disease, oh Lord God. If any, Lord God, diseases and sickness, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Just as you healed, oh Lord God, me, oh Lord God, from COVID-19 and my husband, Lord, just as you healed us, oh Lord God. Lord God, I'm declaring the me too clause. Lord God, Lord God, for those, oh Lord God, that need healing, Lord God, touch them, oh Lord, and heal them in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord God that you get the last word, Father. Yes, God, you get the last word. Thank you, Jesus, you get the last word. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare, Lord God, healing, and we thank you, Lord God. We rout out every devil. Oh, Lord God, we clap our hands, Lord God. We clap our hands, rotting out, Lord God, any spirit of sickness, and we declare, Lord God, your healing, God, your healing, God. Thank you, Jesus, for we declare victory. Oh, Lord, we have a song of victory, Lord God, that you are the God that heals. You are the God that sets free. You are the God that is able. Oh, Father, we bless your name. We bless your name, God. We thank you, Jesus. We are excited, Lord God. We are encouraged for our healing, God. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Lord God, Lord God, Lord God. You are able, Father. We put our trust in you. It may not feel good right now. Lord God, we may go through it, Lord God, this time. But Father, we say, Lord God, touch them. Breathe, oh Lord, the breath of life, God. Breathe the breath of life, God. And we thank you, Lord God, that you are the God that heals. You are the God that set free. Oh Lord God, we are so blessed. We are so blessed to be your children, God. We are so blessed. You are a good, good father. You are a good, good father, God. Have your way in our life today, Father. Let us rise up boldly, Lord God, to do your will, Father. We will not allow sickness to cause us to go backwards, but we go forward in the things of God. The things that you have collect, declared, oh Lord, to go forth in our life, God. Oh, we won't skip a beat, Father. For you do all things well. 
You do all things well, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, healing through the hospital rooms, healings in your bedroom, healing, healing, God, healing. We thank you, Jesus. Sickness cannot stand in your presence, God. So we say thank you, God, for you get the last word. You get the last word. You get the last word, God. And we are so thankful to be called your children. We are so thankful, Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we are so thankful. Father, we are blessed. We are blessed in our membership package of being your child, Lord God, of being your child. There is healing. There is healing. There is healing. And so much more that you have for us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for the power that's in your word, God. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, you're able. I come against a, a doubtful mind right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, you are able. You are able. To do the impossible, you are able. We will not doubt. But oh Lord God, we say faith. Faith. We will walk by faith and not by sight. God never falls short concerning his promises toward us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I pray that you got a chance to talk to God, that you got a chance to pray and, and allow God to hear your voice. What are you believing God for? What are you standing for? Are you standing in the gap for someone else? God wants to hear your voice. Thank you, Jesus. He's a good, good father that wants to heal us and set us free and meet us at the point of our need. But we have to talk to him. We have to talk to him. Hallelujah. After this broadcast is over, I want you to spend some time waiting, waiting on God, listening. He may have a word for you today, maybe not today, but you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss whatever God has for you. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. We're believing God for healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being with me this morning on a focused prayer of healing. And I'm going to ask that you continue through during this week on your own time to pray for healing for you and others. And don't be selfish with our prayers. We won't be selfish with our prayers. Amen. Let's be a blessing. And I promise God will bless you. Amen. Thank you once again for joining me today. And I'm going to ask that you come back next Monday for the next Focus Prayer. Amen. And you will hear about what area God wants us to go into next. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. And just as it says in James 5, 6, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day.